Greetings from Puebla, beautiful city of Puebla, Mexico. This is Charles. And Kristen. We're taking time today to, to thank our supporters and our, our fundraising campaign. So far, it's, it's gone very well. We're very pleased. And thanks to all who have supported. And for those who are considering helping us on our campaign, we'd like to speak to that a little bit to let you know what's happening up until now and where, where we're heading with, with the new Jesus Kirtan ministry. We have uh, a tier list you'll find on the page that offers some gifts to, to express our gratitude for certain donations. We're going to be adding to this list as well, including uh, some free membership to uh, trainings with us. So also keep that in mind too. Yeah. So we, we, we want to show our appreciation always. So grateful to you. Thank you so much. As we, we discovered, um, inflation has, has come to Mexico. It's, it's everywhere. And so the costs involved in this major transition for us, transiting from like Atitlan here to Mexico, and, and we're looking at Oaxaca as, as our base for, for our ministry. Um, yeah, there are certain costs involved in getting our ministry off the ground and, and running. Mm -hmm. We have many, uh, many beautiful plans mm -hmm. to bring a community, especially people from the New Age community, people like us who have found their way back to Christ or looking for a way back to God, a real way, a real way out. Um, we, we feel very fortunate that, um, that Jesus came into our lives at the time that he did. We were both still not clear on where, where we were going, except that you know, our love of, of worship via kirtan. And in the short space of time, we've seen all of our worship music, so we compose our own mantra compositions, uh, is all transformed <laughs> kind of overnight. We're now singing the name of Jesus, God, in, in all of our kirtan. So mm -hmm. we're really excited to bring this to, to the uh, greater community, as well as opportunities for, for baptism, even virtual baptism. <laughs> <laughs> looking at ways to do that, of course, and bring people down to Mexico, um, and also setting up various tiers for uh, mentorship and creating community. We, mm -hmm. we feel it's so important. Mm. It's one of the things we learned for good and for bad in, in the New Age communities, um, how important it is to have strong community especially when we're going through transitions, major transitions like this. You know, it's one thing to, to welcome Jesus as, mm -hmm. as Lord and Savior, you know, but and then, then what? And then, what? <laughs> <laughs> then there's, yeah, there's the work. Yeah, the transition can be scary. It can be very isolating, feeling alone, not knowing what's going to happen with your current, maybe business and new age or family, community. Right, and so to have that community support is what we're looking to foster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, on a practical level, um, we have uh, tech costs, of course, setting up our various programs online, uh, hiring the right support staff, because uh, if, if, if you've done any online business, you know it's, it's, it's Quite involved. There's a lot of parts to the puzzle, mm -hmm. and uh, and to get the, the right kind of support is really important for us. We want to do this right and and serve serve God in, in the best, highest possible way. To, to further the kingdom. Yes, and yeah, I will say this in closing. Perhaps, um, that we feel this time is so important right now in terms of 
serving God. Look, we look around and we see so much strife, so much division on the planet. Uh, it almost seems like there's, there's, a, there's a strong movement against God, preventing God, family, faith from expanding and, and enveloping this world, as we know is the only true solution, the only true happiness and joy comes in through faith and commitment to God. And so we feel very special mission right now to, to help in this way, to bring more consciousness, God consciousness, Christ consciousness. To, to the world and our, our community. Mm -hmm. so. And those in the new age, they, they have something special to this end. They're truth seekers. They're literally seeking truth. And so we feel like we've been panning for gold yes. for many years, 30 years in Charles's case, about, I don't know, 15 or so in mine, panning for gold, and we finally found it. We finally found the truth. We can now finally give our whole hearts, our whole mm -hmm. bhakti, our whole yes. everything to the one God that we're now so clear on. <laughs> Before it was a little muddy. So now it's yeah. just bringing these people that have well-intentioned hearts and beautiful souls, great gifts mm -hmm. to the kingdom, mm -hmm. to serve the kingdom. Yeah, yeah before we, f we found a lot of fool's gold and some semi-precious stones, which are lovely, but we didn't find the real gold, mm -hmm. the pure, the 24 karat gold, which we have found now. And we want to share this. We don't want to share it. This is, this is part, of, part and parcel of, of the Christ path. Mm -hmm. Once we, we surrender and, and commit ourselves, then the commitment begins, the real commitment, which is to, to, to serve the greater humanity, bringing Christ into every person's heart, everyone who's ready to receive Him. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen.